math lesson 43. Let's go ahead and start with a review of some math facts. So I have six plus six, that will equal to 12. Three plus one equals to four. 11 plus zero <clears throat> equals 11. Nine plus nine equals 18. Two plus one, three, and four plus four, Hey, did you get those fast? Did you say it before me? I hope you did. All right, so I have 21, counting by ones, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. So this is counting by ones. Whenever we count by ones, we just say the number that comes after it. Today we will learn how to count by tens, and what that means is we are going to skip ten numbers as we count. And I'm sure you kind of already know how to do that, so it's, it's going to be pretty easy. So we have 10, 20, do you know where I go from here? 30, this is like 1, 2, 3, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then I say 100. So that is how you count by tens from 10 to 100. What that means is I skipped 10 numbers. It's a faster way to get to 100. If I try to count by hundreds by ones, then try to count to 100 by tens, I will get there quicker with tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And if you look at it, it's like you're counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, it looks the same, right? So that's counting by tens. And so you will run across that in your book today. So make sure to practice. All right, we have 17. What number is one more than 17? 18, 34. What's one more than 34? 35 and then 86. One more than 86? 87. 52 pennies, how much money would that be? 52 cents. 97 pennies, how much would that be? 97 cents. What number is this? 12, what about this one? Six, I hope you're answering me. This one, 19, and then our last one, this number is four. So that's pretty much it. Really, we learned how to count by tens today. So you will do work with page 43A in your math book.